In the last couple of years, we have seen the rise and decline of ISIS in Iraq and Syria. They are almost defeated in terms of their military power. However, we have not eradicated the ideology of violent extremism and that danger remains. In fact, the defeat of ISIL in Iraq and Syria may increase the violent extremism in the rest of the world if we don't tackle this issue from an ideological and theological perspective at a grassroots level by refuting their arguments, the trouble will continue. We at the Center for Hizmet Studies have developed a Dialogue in Islam course with the Dialogue Society, which is a London-based charity with branches across the UK. This course aims to equip those who are vulnerable to violent extremist ideology with the correct Islamic knowledge to challenge extremist interpretations of Islam. Essentially, we are hoping to create resilience against violent extremism with this course. This is a four-session course exploring the theological and historical justifications for dialogue in Islam. The course is developed to introduce some necessary information about the dialogue. It does not confront violent extremism directly, but it addresses the root of the extremism problem. The course presents the case for interfaith and intercultural dialogue in Islam through the references to the main sources Quran and Sunnah. We discuss a wide range of verses in this course, including the verses that command war. The course examines and presents examples of the life and the teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that showcase Muslim-non-Muslim relations. The examples are not only the positive ones, but also controversial chapters from the Prophet's life. This course also directly addresses the elements of Islamic sources and traditional interpretation which are sometimes seen as controversial. For instance, the case of apostasy in Islam or the verdict on suicide bombing. Our objective with this course are simple. We want to give a clear, accessible and Islamically sound introduction to what the Quran and Sunnah have to say about dialogue with non-Muslims. We want to demonstrate that intercultural and interfaith dialogue are an integral part of Islam, not against it. We want to discuss the most controversial verses and issues which are often taken out of context by violent extremists to justify their actions. To achieve these objectives, the first session of the course explains the true nature of Muslim-non-Muslim relation in Islam. We bring all the verses across the Quran, Quran to your attention to set the ground. We then explain the controversial verses about war and hostility. In the second session, we discuss the Prophet's teachings and actions about Muslims and non-Muslim relations. This includes important historical events such as the exile of Jewish people from Medina, the wars, agreements and his other engagement with other communities around him. The third session explores other historical examples that set the foundation for peaceful relations among Muslims and non-Muslims. The examples from the rightful caliphs and other historical figures are discussed in this part of the training. In the fourth session, we discuss some contemporary issues such as suicide bombing, apostasy, jihad. This part of the course ends with an extensive question and answer session. This course is designed for a general audience, so you can ask for a presentation in your school, in your community center, or in your workplace. It's an interactive course that will help you understand the true nature of Muslim-non-Muslim relations in Islam. It will equip you, your staff or your students with the capacity to deal with the arguments which may appear Islamically sound, but actually incite hatred, uh, hatred and violence and go against the very teachings of Islam. You'll find more information about the course below in the information section. Feel free to get in touch with us through the comment section or email address. Thank you very much.